Hi guys, I'm so glad to be back recording for you guys. I miss you still so much, but hopefully we can get back to club soon again. Um, today we're going to be doing paper plate elephants. This is how mine looks, and yours should look somewhat like this at the end. Um, but before we start, I want to give you some facts on elephants. Maybe your favorite elephant, you know, maybe it's your favorite animal. If it's not, tell me your favorite animal. If it is, tell me some facts that you know. If you don't know any facts, that's good because you'll learn some. If you do, good for you. They're really great animals. They are the largest mammal on the earth and they travel in herds. Mostly all females. The only time you're gonna see a male in the herd is if they're baby elephants. They love, love water. You might see them all the time. They always play in the water. They love drinking the water. They drink up to about 60 gallons of water a day, which is about 60 jugs of milk at home, if you think of milk. So let's get into our project. So your first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna need is a paper plate. You're gonna need some glue. If you're doing googly eyes, if you're not using googly eyes, if you don't have any at home, that's okay. You can draw them on. That's fine. Perfectly fine. They're super easy to make. You're gonna need some tape to glue on the trunk. You're gonna need some scissors to cut out the trunk and to make your ears. And I use acrylic paints. You don't, if you don't have paint, that's okay. You can use markers. I just use paint because it was perfect for my plate can't use anything else. So markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything works. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plate, you're gonna take your marker, color pencil, crayon, and you're just gonna make at the top of your plate a line that goes across not too far and just go up the plate on both sides. On the other side, try that again on the top. And it's okay if it's not perfectly even. Up, crossed, and up the plate, just like this, on both sides. Next, you're gonna color or paint your paper plate however you want. As you can see, I did the plate blue, and I did the trunk pieces purple. After you do that, if you need to let it dry, just set it aside, let it dry for about 10 minutes or until it's fully dry. Next, those pieces that you drew on for your trunk, you're gonna cut them out. Now it's not perfect, but it should somewhat look like this. See, your ears are right here for your, and here's your trunk. So after you've cut out your trunk pieces, I like to glue or draw on your eyes that you are gonna do first. And if you use googly eyes, you're gonna have to let it dry for a minute. And since I'm doing a video, I'm just gonna start doing the trunk now. So with your trunk pieces, you're gonna need about, you're gonna take a piece of tape, about two pieces of tape. You're gonna roll your tape and connect the two pieces together. So, um, it's okay. 
like that, kind of like a circle. You can see it's tape on both sides. You're going to put it on the colored side, but before you do that, make sure that you're doing the correct side and you're matching them up so they can lay perfectly on top of each other like this. Just on top, just like this, like a U or a smiley face. So once you found how they connect, put your tape on one end. Then you're gonna take it and lay it just right on top. Then you'll need another piece. Keep holding those two pieces together and lay it across the seam right here. So now it shouldn't fall apart or it shouldn't move. It should be stuck together. After you do that and your googly eyes are dry or if you didn't do them and you're ready, you're just going to take your trunk, you're going to take the tape, and like we did before with our other pieces of tape, you're just going to roll it so they connect the two ends together, like that. Then you're going to, just on this at the very top, Put your tape on and make sure it doesn't really matter which way your trunk goes. I just like to do it like a J. So just think of it as a J. If you go the other way, it's going to be backwards. And I like to use two pieces of tape because I find out that it stays better and it might fall off if you just use one piece. right next to it. Just as I'm doing, you're just gonna put it on your elephant. You're gonna hold the piece of tape down. If you need to add more tape, that's fine. Whatever you need to do to make your paper plate elephant. Good job, you guys. Um, if you didn't, just uh, reverse the video. If you need to look over any steps, just have fun with it. And maybe if your parents can take a picture of you with your paper er, with your paper plate, then have them take a picture of you and post it, please. We love to see all your pictures and how you're doing and what you're doing. I'd like to see the colors that you're using. So. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!